Going to see another home. Yeah. Built in sauna. Are you kidding me? So far, it's got the gated part. We've seen some kids, so it's got the kid part. Then we could ask the neighbors to all pitch in on a tree house. So we've put in now three offers to three different homes, and none of them have been accepted. I don't want to lay my cards on the table, but I like it. The only issue is uh, maybe that. I don't know if Jamie's sold on the community yet. But we found out yeah. some information that makes me wor worrisome to put an offer in again. We'll see. So right now we're going to see an open house that just came on the market. Yeah. I think this is a newer development. It definitely looks like a newer development. So far it's got the gated part. We've seen some kids, so it's got the kid part. Now we're just gonna go take a look at the open house part. <laughs> Which is always fun with kids. Jane, what do you think of uh, downstairs? It was nice. It's yeah. Just like, just like, why would you move from here? Namaste room. Namaste. Built in sauna. Are you kidding me? This yeah. looks like a model home. Right? I know. That is really nice out there. I don't know if Jamie's sold on the community yet, but they said there's a lot of young families that are here. It was built three years ago. Uh, the community's still getting built up, uh, which I kind of like. Curious about the amenities that'll come up, if there is any. So we'll have to see. The realtor follows me on Instagram and I made a friend. I'm gonna give her, like, I'm gonna text her and we're gonna set up a play date because our boys are the same exact age. Interesting. You want a bank? <laughs> we're trying to get our two and a half year old off yeah. the bank, but uh, We'll this, get there. This is disgusting. I can't even give this to him. This one has to go in the garbage. <laughs> the house was really nice. The house is really nice. Really? Like shockingly nice. But spacious, roomy. I don't want this but thing. it's just the houses are so close together, and it no, seems like, like they're still building the community. But I don't know if there's any amenities or things like that. Yeah, there are no amenities. I don't think. Well, uh, she said she'd find out, but I don't think there yeah. are. So the search goes on. We will continue the next open house. Bye. Henley just told us that I've had enough houses for yeah, one day. Yeah, so cute. I was like, oh, who do you think you are? Going to see another home. Yeah. And this is our second time seeing this home. We already put an offer in. What's the, uh, what's the address? <laughs> uh, we put an offer in and we never really shared it about rejected. it. It was rejected so fast. So it was like pointless to even share. It was just like bad news. Mm -hmm. But so we've put in now three offers to three different homes and None of them have been accepted, but the one home just came back on the market. Third time's a charm. Well, this is the fourth, this would be the fourth oh, no. time, because <laughs> we did. No, I know, but it's like, this was the this third was offer, so third time's a charm. We're trying to do our best here to get this house, so fingers crossed. I'm standing in front of the house, which we can't take a video in the house, because it's a private home, which we like, actually. Doug's talking to our amazing realtor, and we found out some information that makes me wor worrisome to put an offer in again. It's very private and serene and quiet. It's in a very private area. It's always fun with kids. We're not having the phone right now. We literally just got back from LA. I'm barely awake. What do you think? Oh, I, I don't want to lay my cards on the table, but I like it. There's a mole. We'll have to see if that gets. I know I have that. Yeah, I don't want to so be the I mean, only one to just rush into something. Right, but that's like with any house that we would put an offer in, even if they accept, we go through the inspection process. We'll see.
Good news, bad news, I guess, is the, the only way to look at it. I'm trying to convince him to stop shopping and just to work with us, basically. But he already does have another offer in his hand. And he was kind enough to tell us that it's equal to, um, however, it's cash, and that they're paying the closing costs. The closing costs aren't any big deal. I prefer we pay him anyway. He believes he has one more offer coming in. And he's trying to continue to push it up. And that's something that I was trying to sell as well. I'm like, hey, we're willing to work with you. And, you know, we can be flexible here. We can work with you on getting the mold remediation done or whatever it takes to be in favor of our, of our, of our offer. offer. You know, yeah. basically work with us and we'll let's let's strike a deal. If you're trying to hit something, then counter offer our offer. Yeah. yeah. I wish the guy would just give us a number. I would hate to keep going back and forth and back and forth. Um, well, that's what I told him as well, Doug. I said, listen, we're just trying to stop this from going back and forth. Let's just make a deal. I love the house and I'm pretty sure Jamie likes the house, loves the neighborhood. Um, yes. I don't want to feel like we're just going back and forth so he can get a better number. And I know that's sort of the game. I think we tell them that we will definitely do the closing costs because that's yeah. not too bad. And we stick firm to our offer because if that other offer doesn't come in, cash doesn't mean, just like you said, Pat, cash means nothing because they need, they need to stay there. They're not trying to get yeah. out of the, the well, you know, the house. Well, Cash guys like, yeah, okay, you can stay there. I don't, you know, well, the ca I doubt. That's what I mean. I find I that doubt the cash. What I think possibly the deal is is now they're they have some repair costs and some remediation costs. Uh, it's like fifteen to thirty dollars a square foot, but we don't know how many square yeah. foot remediation yeah. or anything. Let's just kick it around a little bit. I would love to know if he actually gets the other offer. If he doesn't, then we're dealing strictly with the same number we just have to improve our offer somehow well you know what i think we do is we take a breath we let the guy finish yep. his kayak run yeah. and uh see what they say exactly. at one and yeah. i mean as, as as long as he knows that we we'd also be willing to pay the closing cost i think that at least keeps us in in the game and i mean i think that it's clear that we're definitely in the game this is our second offer on the same house so mm -hmm. they know that we're really interested in that's also power in their pocket so we'll just be patient yep. Oh, this house hunting has Little not, by little. It is like truly not easy. It has been so hard. When you find something that you like. I mean, it's just nuts. Like this is the second offer on the same home. And we literally offered them asking. Like they're asking price and they're not accepting mm. our offer. I've been like praying on it and putting it out into the universe. And I really believe that the right house is going to become available for us mm -hmm. and if it's this one great if it's this one great and if it's not that's not cool <laughs> sometimes you just Excuse have me. to meditate on it you say sell us your home <laughs> sell us your home <laughs> he just said that so far all the offers are the same as ours can we put a time limit on our offer like we're gonna offer over but we're gonna only have it for two hours yeah like we got to make this move and if you want it take it if not then we're out yeah uh, i think that we'll know right away i can just insist that he, he let us know right away i just don't want to have to counter lunch. again i'm almost yeah. like frustrated well, with the house at this point if we were selling the house you know it would be great but if we're buying <laughs> well, we're the house buying it's it, not so we don't like it <laughs> i don't know if there's a possibility for us to say we would offer we would um honor our original offer minus the closing cost if you know what i'm saying so like if the closing costs are five thousand dollars, then we pay the original offer of thirty thousand over, but but it would only be twenty five over because we're now doing closing costs. I think that's our final number. I mean, this house failed inspection, so like, you know, it's not like we're we are literally giving him everything. He can stay in the house. We're gonna wait for the mold to be fixed. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much gonna be paying for the mold. Yeah, and we have to we have to remodel it anyways after once we get yeah, in it. But, so, but we do want to make that offer. So yeah, so we'll make that offer. And we'll shoot it over to him, and I'll just press him really hard. Say, you know, 
when can we expect an answer? Like, yeah. We'd like to know right away because we're yeah. tired of dealing with it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Pat. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. This is like so exhausting. It's expected though. We'll wait and see. TBD. You down with TBD? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> This is further from her school, I think. Um, not really. <laughs> no, I, really I don't want it. Really. Honey, honey, don't I don't want that. Yeah. That was just in your mouth for like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It's hard to see my tongue. Okay. Oh yeah. Very red.